Oh, hey, there's some Dyson parts. Wonderful. Oh my, what do we have here? Well, uh, we have a crap ton of vacuums. And uh, I just got all of this off of a friend of mine who basically, he bought, he gets a bunch of stuff. He gets lawn mowers, he gets vacuum cleaners, he gets computers, uh, all sorts of stuff, cars, and uh, just gets them. And just all the time, just finds them. And um, he found a bunch of vacuums. <laughs> to say the least, he found a bunch of vacuums. Um, and to address the Dyson parts that you saw before, he unfortunately, uh, like a couple months ago, he got a Dyson DC07 original, identical to the one that I have, presumably. And he 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 uh, he only took parts off it. He didn't take the whole vacuum because the, he said the cord was chopped off of it. And I told him, I was like, are you kidding me? Because I just repaired a cord on Abyssal and re repairing cords on Dysons are super easy. And he's like, yeah, I screwed up on that. Sorry about that. And he said, so to, he, so he was like, so you know what? You can just have these parts. Uh, so he only had those Dyson parts, and uh, which is good because cyclone assemblies, hoses, and wands are pretty, you know, common parts to need to be replaced on Dysons other than like clutches and stuff. Uh, clutches and brush rolls so in fact in my experience uh, hoses and assemblies are a lot more sought after than actual the actual brush rolls because the brush rolls tend to last a while anyways I digress so uh, he basically brought up all these vacuums said I got a crap ton of vacuums and at first he was like at first he showed me all these and then he was like, hey, I got this really tiny one that you're going to love. And then he pulled out this one. I'm like, oh, you know, I, I thought he was going to pull out like a canister, but pulled out a, a Power Force Compact. And I'm like, yeah, those are the ones that you can get at Walmart for 40 bucks. And, uh, you know, these are the ones that you can get at Walmart for 50 bucks. Well, not this one, but this one kind of because this is the older 1700 model. And, of course, I just broke one of these. I broke the orange version. And, yeah, I guess I could have kept that, and then I could have put the orange parts on this one, but I'm pretty sure this one's in much better condition. And I do still prefer the blue, even though it's not as, you know, fancy. But uh, I know this one works because this one he powered on, but, um, you know, this one, uh, I know this one's good. These other ones I haven't tested, so we're going to do that right now. And uh, I'll still show you the Helix working, even though there's, it's not really interesting. This is probably the least interesting out of this whole stack. But um, I'm very happy to have another one of these Hoovers again, because I did have one of these. The Corby one was busted. So I am glad to have another one of these Hoover Elite Rewinds. Or, of course, this one's a newer version that just says Rewind. But um, I am glad to get another one of these. The Pet Hair Eraser, um, this one is basically just a rebranded Momentum. Uh, so I've never had a momentum before, but this is effectively a momentum. At least it looks like it to me. Correct me if I'm wrong, but to me this looks like a momentum that just has the stupid pet hair thing added to it. And uh, so just because while it is nice to kind of check out a momentum, it's too heavy for me. This, I mean, actually it's not really all that heavy. I could work with this, but it's not one that I particularly you know, care for. So I'm definitely selling this one. Uh, I already know that. Um, the Power Force Compact, I'm also definitely selling because there's nothing special about this. And also, I don't know, if, is the handle supposed to be this loose on these? Because there's no parts, there's no pieces broken off, but it's, the handle is just really loose and flimsy. I don't know if that's supposed to be like that. I've never owned one of these before. I have used one. A friend of mine had one. And, uh, I don't remember the handle being that loose. It was a little bit loose. But yeah, so this one's getting sold no matter what. Um, the Hoover, I'm going to keep for now, probably. And the Shark, it's a Shark. It seems, I like the color. That's about the only only uh, compliment I can give to it. And of course, another one of these older Power Force Helixes. This is a 10 amp version, so this is the... Uh, 12B1. This one's got a ton of scratches on the back, but I'm probably going to replace uh, my auxiliary outside vacuum, which was the bagged version, uh, the bagged Power Force Helix. I'm probably going to replace that with either of these, one of these perhaps. But uh, yeah. 
So, anyways, I know this one works, so I'll run this one first, and then we'll go ahead and run the rest of them. It's kind of hard to be organized and record, you know, six different vacuums at once, but uh, we'll see. I'm also maybe getting another one off of another friend of mine, so, and I, and that one's one that I actually really want, so I hope that that goes over well. And uh, I also, some person asked why I didn't do the Eureka in a vacuum save video. Now I'm glad that I didn't because that would just add to the madness. I could have split this up in, in a different video, but I got all of these all at once less than, less than an hour ago, so might as well keep them all together, at least while they're being tested. So, oh, yeah, this one's heavy. But yeah, so this one appears to work. Oh yeah, it works just fine. And whoever had it last sucked up a bunch of cat litter for some reason. So it needs a cleaning, but beyond that, the belt seems good, the brush seems good, suction seems good. Why is there green crap all over it? Yeah, this thing needs to be stripped apart and washed. This one's model 1700, manufactured on the 60... Wait, no. Yeah, on the 62nd day of 2016. So, so this one's, uh, I believe this model came out early 2016, so I believe this is a very, very early example of one of these, of one of these newer ones. Uh, but yeah, so, I don't have a 1700 right now, uh, so I do have a 1700 and I have the, the newer version of it, I have the purple one that I bought brand new, and obviously I don't need both of them, so this one... We'll probably get uh, either sold or repurposed, and obviously this part's wet, so I'm not going to vacuum this part. So, I'll set that over there. And uh, which one next? Uh, let's grab this one. The core winders on this are weird. And, uh, is this, where's the on switch? Okay, that's the power switch. Okay. There's no brush roll shut off. Didn't the Momentum have a brush roll shut off? I thought it did. Maybe it didn't. I'm expecting this one to be loud. Huh. It doesn't sound right, but it's not loud. It's still pretty quiet. Okay, I take that back. It's not quiet, but headlight works. You can see how dusty it is, me just putting my finger on it, wipe the dust off of it. So, uh, is there a suction? Yeah. <laughs> As expected with a name like Pet, it smells like wet dog. So, uh, that will need a cleaning as well. Alright. And I guess I'll do the compact next. Man, this thing's light. Oh, I didn't show the plate on the hair eraser 
Model 3920, manufactured on the 20th day of 2009. Okay, Power Force Compact. I believe, yeah, these, these haven't changed at all since, since this version of it came out. So this compact Bissell has had three different designs. It had the original EasyVac, the uh, rebranded version of the EasyVac, or the redesigned version of the EasyVac, I mean. That's Power Force, that was Power Force Helixized, that version. And that was renamed Power Force Compact, but had the same design. And then they redesigned the power, that Power Force Compact into this design. Sounds clogged. Also, this is not screwed in properly. Is the screw still there? Yes, it is. So I can fix that easily without having to buy another screw. Manufactured on the 359th day, so right at the end of 2016. And... Okay, so this lower hose is clogged. Oh, that's very clogged. I can see that in there. Yeah. So, lower hose is clogged on that. Beyond that, it seems fine. Maybe the brush didn't spin. Whatever, I'll check that later. I don't know if I have any belts for this tiny one, but uh, I can get them. All right. Obviously trying to get through this video without it taking too long, so I'm not bothering to wind all of them up. Next, the shark. Oh, where's the cereal plate on the shark? I don't even know where it is. I thought it, oh, here it is. So this is shark model, whatever that is. And so don't know when this one was made, don't care. Let's see. Although I would like to find it because I know there's probably some people out there who like sharks. Oh, what was that? So this thing just made a noise. And it sparked a little bit. Yeah, that's not good. So this made like a little buzzing noise and now it's not turning on. I didn't realize it was in the on position. Did I just short it? It's plugged in. I think I just shorted it. I think I just witnessed its death. Well, that's not good. Because it kind of worked. Um, well, it almost turned on. Oh, and this is a zero M. Wow, I didn't even realize this was a zero M. Dang, if this was a zero M, I would have wanted to keep it because I do want one of the zero M sharks. But this thing is dead, dead, dead. Yeah, nothing, nothing at all. Well, that sucks because I really wanted to try one of these zero M models. Oh, well. Not very good first impressions. Yeah, see, that looks really cool. I would have loved to try that, but I can't because the stupid thing doesn't work. Oh, well. Uh, that's a uh, short build quality for you. See how, how great the build quality is on that machine. Next we got the Hoover, which I'm most excited about, even though this is like the mid-range out of the prices. Obviously the Shark would be the most expensive, and yet it's also the most broken. It says a lot, doesn't it? I don't know if this is on or not. It is! That brush does not sound good. I think that belt is shot.
works though. Needs a new belt, probably a new, possibly a new brush roll. Uh, did any of these have any of the attachments? No. Yeah, all these other ones are missing every single attachment. So, this one does have the turbo brush though. So at least it has that. Oh, and it has the extension wand. So it's not missing everything. So, but it is missing the dusting brush and the crevice tool. I think I might have a crevice tool that would fit it. Don't think I have a dusting brush though. But uh, that one is, that one will need some work with the brush roll and uh, as well as the cleaning. I like the Corby wind on this. This is a really high quality Corby wind, it seems like. Much higher quality than the ones that are on the uh, Bissels. At least from the ones that I've used. And finally, the old school 10 amp Power Force Helix. And of course, this one I can't even tell if it's going to be turned on or not. I'm wondering, just based on looking at it, if this one might have a dead motor in it. Or a dying motor. But let's see. See if people, someone left this turned on. Nope. Well, some dust just flew out of the motor. And that wheel... Those wheels do not sound good. Oh, seems fine now. How is the... Oh, this one also has the screw yet isn't installed properly. So I have to fix that. Let's, how's the suction? So this one has suction. The suction's a little bit weak, but I think that's just dirty filters. Bad brush roll. Screws have a ton of rust on this. We can see all these screws are rusted out and this one's partially installed. This brush roll is seized. Yeah, this, oh, you can listen to that grind. Pepper grinder. Yeah, so that brush roll is bad and it needs a cleaning. So yeah, so this one's all good. This one has a clog. This one's completely dead. This one needs a belt, possibly a brush roll. This one needs a cleaning. Oh, so that's how you release that. Okay. Did that by complete accident. So this one needs a cleaning. Oh, that's a wasp. Okay. And uh, this one is completely good. And this one needs a brush roll. And uh, also a cleaning. All these need a cleaning. As far as what needs to be fixed on them, then uh, that's, that's what's up. So, yeah. So that is, also someone commented on this broken Dirt Devil toy. I broke this, I think in a video, I haven't, I don't even know if I still have the video file, but that's where it came from. I have these speakers, and I have this Xbox, no idea what happened to this thing. Don't know if that works or not. It's been sitting out here for a while, so it probably doesn't work by now. Needs a, it needs a top panel. It was thrown away, so probably busted. Maybe the hard drive salvageable? Probably not. Haven't messed with it yet. But yeah, so that's that's the status on all of these. So yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and uh, also I did get two other vacuums, but they're not mine. I got a Dirt Devil Total Pet and a Hoover Wind Tunnel Bagless, and uh, both of those are uh, belong to people that I'm fixing them for. So when I get those running, I'll do videos on those probably, and uh, definitely on the rest of these when I get them running. 
uh, or at the very least, I'll, you know, let you know. So anyways, this is Inteltech Studios signing out, and, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.